We are trying to build AGI, which is a full general intelligence. Clearly, that would have to understand the physical environment, the physical world around you. And two of the massive use cases for that, in my opinion, are a truly useful assistant that can come around with you in your daily life, not just stuck on your computer or one device. It needs to, uh, we want it to be useful in your everyday life for everything. And so it needs to come around you and understand your physical context. Um, and then the other big thing is I've always felt for robotics to work, you sort of want what you saw with Astra on a robot. And I've always felt that the, the bottleneck in robotics isn't so much the, the hardware, although obviously there's many, many companies and, and, and working on fantastic hardware, and we partner with a lot of them, but it's actually the software intelligence that I think is always what's held um, robotics back. But I think we're in a really exciting moment now where finally, with um, these latest versions, especially 2.5 Gemini, and more things that we're going to bring in, this kind of VO technology and other things, I think we're going to have really exciting uh, algorithms to make robotics finally work in, in, in its, and you know, sort of realize its potential, which could be enormous. So I think there's, and, and then in the end, AGI needs to be able to do all of those things. So for us, and that's why you can see, we always had this in mind, that's why Gemini was built from the beginning, even the earliest versions, to be multimodal. And that made it harder at the start, because it's harder to make things multimodal than just text only. But in the end, I think we're reaping the benefits of those decisions now, and I see many of the Gemini team here in the front row, of the correct decisions we made. They were the harder decisions, but we made the, the right decisions, and now you can see the fruits of that with all of what you've seen today, actually.